Hello, good morning and Kalimera from Aliraki, Rhodos Island. Today is September 29 and this will be just a little walk in Faliraki to check how it, it, it is looks in late September when the summer is officially over and it is still pretty full of tourists or something is changed so it's a pretty early I'll walk through the some of central streets and then of course go to Toleraki beach
so as you can see there is a pretty lot of people already already on the beach and it's still pretty early I think there is about 11 o'clock so I was in Faliraki in June, late June, early July and I can say that now I think it's September is better time for visiting because water is very warm, very nice even better than in start of the summer temperature is very nice also it's about 28-29 degrees celsius so for in September definitely could be very good choice and obviously a lot of people think same like me So, this is uh, my favorite part of the Faleraki beach. I don't know to tell you why, probably first time when I came here in June, I see that this old lady working here with, I don't know, one little young guy, uh, one kid and I decide to spend my money here. So, as you see, it is not so crowded, but there is a lot of people. And yes, here it is my sunbed, my umbrella. It's about 10 euro for one some bed and some umbrella i think it's uh, 15 euro to complete both some bed and one some umbrella so pretty normal prices i think still late september but sand is very hot so i will walk closer to see it's not nice to walk on hot sun so talking about prices well I can say prices are pretty usual you can find in some part of Rodos you can find umbrella free if you order some drink or food and in some parts uh, 10 euro 15 euro 20 euro definitely you can find different prices but i think it's okay 
and talking about prices earlier in season prices are pretty same so about bus transportation I came here from Rhodos town and ticket from Rhodos to Faleraki is 2, uh, two euro and 50 cents in one direction then for both direction 5 euro for example price for gold to Lindos is if I remember correctly about 5 euro in one direction price for gold to Seven Springs also with bus from Rhodos town is uh, 4 euro so Kutel bus works very nice I see cattle service in almost all Greek islands I visited so prices are okay all buses have good condition they have air condition also and yes prices for public transport is reasonable I can say then talking about prices for ferry service Blue Star is very good ferry service I use them they have everyday ferry line for many islands in the Dakinese and prices are about 40 euros I can say maybe for some closer island like Simi and Kalki it's uh, cheaper but for Kalimnos or uh, yesterday I was on Castellorizzo and price is about 40 euros in one direction but you can order Blue Star bonus car and you have 20% discount on every ticket you buy so you can find some tricks to buy it cheaper I will add links for both Kettel uh, and uh, Blue Star Ferry service so you can check destination and you can check price also so going, going back to Paleraki you see it's the uh, end of September summer is over but still it's very nice it's very hot I'm not 100% sure but I think it's even sees more even more warmer than June and July early July so perfect time for visiting Rhodos I also check some prices in restaurants here in Foliraki I'm not sure are the prices higher during the high season mid season in August and July but it also looks pretty reasonable for me for example Greek salad is about 7 euro uh, chicken or pork euro plate about 10 or 12 euro different fish starting about 17 then to 22 25 euro you can find draft beer for about 3 till 5 euro I can't remember exactly prices from last summer but of course everything is much pricier this year compared to last year prices are higher in all of Europe so 
I can say that prices here in Rhodos are something that I expected. So you can see all the hotels and they have his own private beach. It's a middle of the day, I think it's about two o'clock and it's not so many people here but still it's a lively and very nice. So I'll go back now and see a little more. You can see Poliraki is pretty live at the end of September. And definitely I can say I can recommend you to visit Rhodos in this part of the year. Also, I forgot to mention one more thing why I decide to go to Rhodos again. Of course I want to visit some other places on this island and I want to visit some other islands. But during the summer there is a lot of problems with wildfire on Rhodos. Probably you read about that and because of that i think a lot of people decide not to go to rodos and when that happened the economy of rodos is in problem so i decide to spend some money here instead of some other places of course it will not change dramatically rather economic situation but well I can try to give my best so probably that's it for this short video I just want to show you Faliraki beach, maybe one of the most popular beach resorts in this part of Aegean Sea in late September when summer is over and show you that you can enjoy for I can say pretty reasonable prices in this beautiful Mediterranean Aegean Sea Thank you for watching and see you maybe a little later when I go to Oliraki town or maybe a little, little more later when I go back to Rhodes.